Paralympic athletes reaching a level where they can now challenge able-bodied athletes is new and it's unprecedented. I think what's really ironic about it is that an able-bodied person will say that they have a disadvantage against a disabled person. I mean, that's, that is crazy. I personally have never had a, any issue at all with disabled athletes participating and taking on able-bodied athletes. Well, I mean, I personally competed uh, against able-bodied athletes. That was 99.9% .9 of my competition. I wanted to be accepted not just as a Paralympic athlete, but as, as a very good athlete, full stop. We've come to, to new grounds and, and it's just asking a lot more questions. And I suppose all of this has arisen from Oscar Pistorius, hasn't it, really? A few years ago, Oscar was quite frankly not performing at his best. He was slightly overweight, wasn't really focused, his times weren't as good as they could have been. And you've seen him really knuckle down and, and, and focus. When he was running just outside 46 seconds, I think it's very easy for people to say, that's fine, let him run, because it's the right thing, I think, for a lot of people to do. Now he's just run outside 45 seconds, he's in the mix at the world rankings, a lot more people are going to be a lot more uncomfortable about it. If he knocks you out, and he's the reason you haven't made the final, then how are they going to think about it? How is your nation going to think about it? What's frustrating for the rest of the Paralympians is the Paralympics isn't Oscar Pistorius. The worry is that the Paralympics will no longer become the pinnacle for disabled athletes. I don't think it makes a difference because he's always been a massive supporter of, of the Paralympic Games. He's won five medals there previously, four of them gold. He's never wanted to abandon his Paralympic roots. He's shone a light on the Paralympics like, like never before. Of course, that light has been slightly controversial. There's a very legitimate argument about what kind of advantage a prosthesis could potentially give. If you're using a carbon fibre blade, when you hit the ground, you can bounce back up. There's an energy return. So therefore, you, you, when you're running, you probably use less, less energy because you're not actively having to put energy into your calf muscle. You know, suddenly everyone's saying, well, hold on, those legs have got rocket boosters in them. Oh, people are getting ridiculous. Where does this argument ultimately end up? Well, quite frankly, you could end up saying, well, athletes have to run barefoot because one person's spikes are better than another person's spikes. We've already seen in swimming the fact that the speed suits have been banned because they were considered to give an unfair advantage. Disabled athletes who run with prostheses are not cheating, they are, they're running within the rules laid down to them. I'd like to see him run. I'd like to see him compete because in, in the Olympics. I think just it'll be fascinating. I'd love to see the reaction, the media furore. And if he did, it's a long shot, but if he did win a medal, can you imagine that image, that picture of a double leg amputee on the rostrum? Wow.